actually going to be um, designing, but you need to do a lot of the asking. So this is your the objective right here. Work in teams, biomedical engineers to design a knee brace for a model of an injured knee. The goal, the knee brace has to help the injured knee move in a healthy way. In order to design a knee brace for an injured knee, we really need to focus on, first off, what do you think? The knee. The healthy knee. Let's just remind ourselves what is a joint, where, what are examples of different joints in our body? Hands. Hands. Because like right here is like connecting all your fingers. So take your hands up, just shake them, bend them. And then what about our wrists? Yeah, they connect our hands to our arms. But what about the movement of our wrist compared to the movement of our pointer finger? They can, they can go around and your pointer finger can only do like Aha. Uh -huh. We need to gather data about our knees. You remember this morning when we cut out those go knee nominers? Yeah. Now's the time to take them out. Now we're going to put them to use. What we're going to be focusing on is the range of mobility. Take your knee and just swing it back and forth. And what part is moving when you're doing that? What, what bones are moving? Like your knee bone. Okay, so your patella, your knee bone. Put your hand on your patella, you guys. Just feel it. Move it out a couple times. You can feel that movement. Addie, what else? Your lower leg. Yeah, totally, your lower leg. We're just going to be talking about the range of your knee joint and how much it can move. So now we're gonna move on. So the go kneeometer, it's gonna guide you here. So following along, you've got upper leg, okay? And you've got lower leg, okay? And then you can see, so here when it's straight out, what's my reading? Zero. Right. Zero. And if I'm moving it this way? One. 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 Two, three, four. Right? So this is going to be a really pretty big, deep bend. So there's four different readings that you're going to get. And what I find is helpful is this picture to kind of give you an indication of how you should be sitting or standing. See, now we have to do C, because we already know what B is. Z just I want to um, have some conversation over your range of motion of a healthy knee. Let's just share out quickly A through D. Adrena, what'd you get for A? What I got for A is three. Three. Stand up if you also got three. Let's just do a quick survey. I definitely got three when I did it. I think this one's interesting, okay? So Chris, can we use you as an example? Now, I just want you to bend your lower leg, right? This part, bend it up as high as you can. What's the problem? How come, it's not, it. how come it's not going up, Chris? I don't have a joint on the back. You said it perfectly, right? None of us. None of us have a joint in the back. So, most of us, what are you going to have right here for, for zone, for B? Zero. You're going to do the same four tests using your go kneeometer. You're collecting the same bit of information. But remember, this is an injured knee because obviously we can't work with an injured knee. We don't have that. So, just like a globe is a model of the earth, this leg it's just a model and it's going to be really helpful just for um, for the activity that we're going to be doing okay we need to find the injury where is the injury okay this goes back to that asking and being curious okay because we can't design a knee brace without knowing the purpose you know where do we have to provide support so that this knee becomes acts like a healthy knee <laughs> So where would the injury be? I think if so, let's connect all the dots. It might be the ligament. Really good conversation. So first of all, let's say this is healthy. This is normal, right? Our leg, our knee moves this way. So does the model. Got it. This is kind of weird. Look it. 
Okay, so that's just curious. Okay, that gets my interest, right, Makili? Is that what you're saying? Okay, so then we're going side to side. And go that way first. Uh, this way? Which way? This way. Let me go this way. Okay. Here. Right. So here's my outside. Outside going in. Look at. I'm doing it this way. It's not moving. That's healthy. That's right. That's healthy. But then if you move it the other way. Let's do it. That means it's broken. That means it's broken. <laughs> Yikers! That means it's broken. That means yeah, what? It's broken. Yeah, that means injured knee right here in this movement. On Thursday when we begin designing our braces, we need to know first of all, what is it we're trying to fix? How can we get this knee, right, to be healthy? It's really important. Well done you guys, that's well done. Part two of lesson three today. How is knowing how a healthy knee moves going to help us with our challenge that we have before us? Um, maybe just to see um, how the knee moves if it's healthy so we can automatically um, identify where the injury is. Right, on that model it bends. A healthy knee, it doesn't bend like that. Well said. Like what questions might you have as you're trying to grapple with this idea of making a knee brace? What what materials what what can we work with? So funny that you should bring that up because that's where we're going. So here is just a sample. And inside the bag are all the materials that you'll have access to. You wanna begin thinking, how could I use this material for the, my design challenge? Your group members are gonna have, have a bag. Think about what these materials are right now, name them, but also what they could be used for. Everything's bendable except for these two. This is bendable. Everything's bendable except for the cardboard. That cardboard part of it. We're going to do a short whole class, five minutes of a discussion. So do you see over here the first thing that I started with was um, the craft stick. I'm not asking what is this made of, right? What is it made of? Wood. But what they're asking here is describe the property. So, for example, when I'm having, I have this craft stick, and is this bendable or is it pretty rigid? It's pretty rigid. So, over here, that's the type of word, rigid, that you want to put right there. How could you change the shape of this material? Can you change it? You could, but what would happen? It would break. It would break. How could you use it in the knee brace design? Now, this is a really important question. Oh. How could you? Thomas. Since we thought it was a ligament, um, we had this idea where we would put it to the side and it would act like a ligament so it couldn't bend. Absolutely. It would give you that support that you need. Begin describing this felt. It's pretty, like, soft. How is that important? So it like keeps the front or back of your knee like really comfortable. Yeah. Absolutely. So it doesn't like hurt it. I really want you to be thinking about, you know, oh the cardboard is rigid, is sturdy, like that craft stick. Oh, I've got the felt, but I also have this green foam. Right? So be thinking about what's going to be the best material in your design. I think having the samples of what the material is that they're going to have was, I, I, you know, I think kids, some kids can understand it and, and go along with it, but until you actually physically feel and touch and see what it is that you're going to work with, you know, other kids can't really connect the dots without that. <laughs>